Hey there, it's Corey. In this video, we are going to take a look at one of the real life case scenarios that you could use multi pattern auto fit for on your quilts. So, I have got a string of triangles uh, on here. Let's say this is a sashing, for instance, and I've got them clicked out using push pins so I have a definitive idea of where things need to go. But one of the triangles in the sequence, just so you have note, isn't a perfect. Uh, three-point triangle. It's kind of shifted a little bit. Let's say the piecing probably wasn't perfect on that, and that's okay. We have amazing tools to fix that. But let's first get these patterns placed in using multi-pattern auto fit. So we are in our auto fit tool, and I already have my two point-to-point -point triangles that I want to use. Now remember, with multi-pattern auto fit, you can use two or more designs. I've just chosen to use two today. I have my input of mouse because I'm clicking these out for this demonstration, but if you're doing this on your actual quilt, I would highly suggest you use your input of sew head and click them out with your sew head so you make sure they are sized correctly to the piecing on the quilt. I am going to choose multi-pattern. I'm going to select the patterns that I would like to use. So I want to use this pattern, and I would like to use this pattern. I'll know that they're both selected by looking in the setup screen on the right hand side and they're both listed. I'm going to scroll down and choose begin auto fit. And I can click these out just like this and they'll place in just beautifully along this section. Once I've got those clicked in, I can scroll down and click on accept and then come back to the transform icon, little stretchy man, to get back home. Now, with multi-pattern auto fit and with single pattern auto fit, these patterns are one connected group all together. Now, we could go in and ungroup them and then move them around and then re-link them back together so they'll stitch continuously, but I thought I'd also like to show you group manager. Now, this isn't anything new, however, it shows you that you can get a little bit more custom with your work. So if we right click on the open viewport screen and come down to group manager, we have a list of the auto fit patterns available to us. Now one thing that you will notice is that it's adapting um, one of the pattern names. So even though these patterns are different names in the group manager, it has adapted one of them because we use multi-pattern. But if I click on it, one of the pattern names, then I have access to choose them individually, even though they are a linked group. So what I can do now is I can come in and I can see, oh yeah, that really is pretty far off. And I can use handles to make any adjustments. So I could go up with that. Let me turn my grid snap off. But if I want to come in with morph to move it over, I could hop into my morph tool and choose where I would like to place a new point. This is also a new feature in the, op the autopilot update. I can right click right above this point and click add point and then move that pattern over for it to fit in the piece block that I've got. I can make any adjustments along. I could add a point over here maybe and kind of bring it in and pull a point over here and pull it out. That way it evens it out a little bit. But I can do that all the way through. Now these are pretty dead on. These are pretty squared off. So I could hop back into my transform tool. And then just pull those up so they actually meet the point of the design shown. Just like that. But because I'm in group manager, once I select one of the patterns in the set here, I can begin to bounce between them and use my handles to make adjustments. It will keep them linked. It will keep them grouped. And I don't have to worry about having to go in and redo all of that work. I can hit go and take off and quilt my beautiful new sashing.